kids and li letting them play with toys, but we've got a lot of time with screen time. But uh, some companies are doing some interesting things to try to combine real life toys with technology. I'm here with uh, Jessica Lane of Pi Technologies, that's P-A-I Technologies, and uh, I think she's going to let me play with some clay. Absolutely. Well, uh, what we're finding is the importance of not skipping the stage of playtime with kids. So we've got traditional elements of play, which is uh, creation, using your hands, getting creative and building things, then going into traditional story time and learning morals and values through books, and also puzzle solving skills. So they're traditional play techniques that we're finding, let's not skip over that, let's incorporate that into then adding the screen time to it. So go ahead and make me a fish. All right, so uh, Jessica, you're going to describe what I'm doing because this is audio as well, mm -hmm. and uh, she's going to hold the mic for us here while I play. Yes. Okay, so uh, Alison's choosing a, a beautiful blue color to uh, go ahead and create her fish. <laughs> now, I will give you one little tip. Uh, we do need to have this as the front, but doing your base, it's easy to turn it over so you get a nice flat front to it. So we've got a, a piece of plastic here that I'm shoving my, my clay into, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start by making my basic shape here. And then I peel it. Oh, look, it's a pretty looking fish, and I think I'm going to need some orange eyeballs maybe. What do you think? That's going to look good? I think that's going to look beautiful. And uh, also to let you know that these are all uh, safe products and uh, peace of mind for parents knowing that their kids, if they do decide to be children and eat the putty, they're going to be okay. <laughs> Non-toxic. Of course they will. Now the one thing I asked Jessica about well, when we were talking before was, or the other woman I asked about this was, do you also sell a disinfectant product that cleans your screen after they've been playing with clay and then, uh, and then touch the iPad? Well now that you're playing with it, let me know if you feel any sticky residue on your fingers. That's a good point. This is not sticky at all. This feels really clean. Yeah, I'm glad you pointed that out because I was. it doesn't feel like clay or silly putty. It feels completely different. Okay, so now I've got a beautiful fish. It's blue. It's got green stripes and orange eyeballs. What do I do now? You do. So now I think the next stage is would you like to see your fish come to life? I would love to see my fish come to life. So she tapped play on Ocean Pets on the iPad and she tapped a little fish and She's just, that's the, oh, it's the number four shape that she chose from here. And now, am I going to hold this up? Yep, now we're going to put this. Oh, in front of the camera. Oh, look, she's scanning it from the back camera. And it just got it, oh, I've got stars and stuff going out here. Oh my gosh, look, it's my fish. All right, it's, and she's named it. Oh my gosh, here we go. And now, oh my gosh, my fish is swimming around with other fish. So we can touch it. The Indian Ocean is the third lar largest ocean. So I'm learning already. That's right, and it's important to feed your fish as well. Oh, she just dropped some food in. Can we make it swim around? Oh, he just got bigger! He, did. he got bigger! Oh my she gosh, is she? I'm sorry, of course oh, look, she did. And breathing from your nose when swimming. Don't it's do not, that. Not good. <laughs> and we oh. can swim around. We've got more. Uh, We've got goggles happy. we can put on. We've got learning lessons here. Oh, this is so interesting. So it's getting the kid engaged in there because they've done the real life play. That's right. And uh, how about, would you like a little more interaction with your fish? Oh, no. Now it's got on screen. We're on screen with the fish. Uh, <laughs> so we've got AR here. We've got uh, my little fishy is swimming across. I think she's just gone up my nose, so that's nice. <laughs> she's and, looking uh, right at me. And also, we can turn it around. So let's say that, um, sorry, <laughs> uh, perhaps you've also had your child uh, create a mural of some kind. Maybe they made an aquarium and they can put that behind there and make that oh, a more, a even gosh. more interactive experience. So she's using the back facing camera now, so that's that would be the background where you would have the, uh, the so right mural. Now we're swimming with a dog. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, again, you, you can, this is so open ended, you can be as creative in the pro initial lead up to the process before even introducing the screen as you want and then as technology should be it enhances the experience. Wow that's fantastic so uh, the, this particular game was called Ocean Pets. Ocean Pets and you have other things we can do is can we oh it looks like we might be able to sneak down the aisle there. Yes. Let's see we're mo maneuvering here go down. Okay, so again, um, story time is very important and uh, again, using the technology to bring that story to life, we have this amazing adventure of TJ and uh, TJ is going to have a lot of different adventures here, encountering an ogre and also down to having to then chop down 
the uh, the beanstalk here. So, so we're looking at a book where where he's got the ogre and he's got to got to chop down the beanstalk. And so perhaps in the evening, at, before bedtime, you just read it as a traditional story. But then during the day, when uh, you're wanting to a little more stimulus, a little more uh, stimulation, we scan that in there. Oh my gosh! She just she just held the book, uh, held the scanner over the iPad over the mm -hmm. book, and we just saw the beanstalk just grow up into 3D space here. And then as the story is telling me to do, we can chop that stalk on down. She just she just chopped it down. Oh, that is so cool. And there's a real background behind us too. Yes. Behind it too. Yes. And again, so parents or, or brothers, sisters, even friends can come in the back and in, uh, uh, be incorporated in there as well. Uh, even down to there's a fun fun interaction here with an ogre. The ogre's your favorite, huh? The ogre is definitely my favorite. You're just playing here. I am. I am. I can't believe they're paying me to do this. <laughs> well, the ogre is about to walk in. Oh, yeah. that's a scary looking ogre on the <laughs> iPad. And these are also uh, going to be released in a variety of different languages. And uh, we'll also give voice prompts and uh, and audio prompts as well. And as she moves this up and down, it looks like it's rotating it within, so, so it's go, a 3D go, space there. We can go 360 with this as well. Oh, wow. So I've been that's telling beautiful. the ogre off. So is he going to listen to me? Yes, there we go. He's listening to me now. No more fighting. <laughs> This is really, really interesting. I like the, I like the interaction of the two. And this one is pretty amazing. So, again, these days kids don't have as much longevity or uh, focus, perhaps because there's a lot of stimulation around. Uh, so something like the uh, the Rubik's cube, where you're not going to get an instant gratification. <laughs> no, you're is, not. Not based on how long it took me to solve it. <laughs> is uh, we want it. We want the Rubik's cube to live. So we've now created this app where you can go in. You'll go through the process, we've mixed it up. Now this can take a, a, a second, but I'll go through. And we go through and scan the middle color. So she's holding the Rubik's Cube up to the to the back and uh, of the back camera and she's scanning the middle of each cube side. How do you keep track of which one you're scanning? The color. Oh, I see. Oh, it's telling you which one to show next. I see. I was confused because you, you held it over red and it showed blue. I was like, no, it's red. Okay, so it's finding the orientation of each of those. And now it's telling me exactly which way to hold the cube. So yellow on top, blue, and then red. So this and would be for slightly older kids. <laughs> uh, five plus. Oh, okay. And then it will go through step by step how it's to telling her how to turn each side and it's starting to solve the puzzle. Solve it. So if I went through, it's telling me there's 31 steps currently to go through. And if I went through that, I would complete it. Oh. It would be amazing. I'd get that sense of completion. But then the curiosity would be sparked, and I'd go, but how did I actually do this? How can I do this without looking at the screen? So perhaps after a few goes, I then go into our learning center, and it will go through the actual puzzles, pathways, and algorithms to learn to teach this you do. Oh, wow. without the screen. This is really, really interesting. So are any of these products on the market yet today? Uh, yes, they are. So the company actually started in Shanghai uh, two years ago. They are now based in Santa Monica. That's their headquarters in, in uh, uh, America. And the Cubetastic is available on Amazon right now. And also the Ocean Pets are available on Amazon. I might just get those Ocean Pets for me. That was really, really fun. <laughs> uh, what's the price point on these? Uh, the the uh, Cubetastic is $14.99 and the Ocean Pets is $29.99. No way. I am totally getting that. Yes. I'm just going to sit there and make fish. I really love that. Well, thank you very much for your time. You're very well. Appreciate your time, Jessica. Thank you. And now we're going to tell you this is actually Shai Yamini's wife, Jessica Lane. Hi. Great friend, <laughs> and uh, we're really excited to have her here. I mean, Shai, Shai, Shai has, you know, his requirements, and obviously I needed to understand a little bit of technology in order to, to be in his life. To fit in here. <laughs> All right, great. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. You're welcome. Yeah.